Hey guys, it's Rob Sipek with Paperless Student Studies. In today's video, I will show you how I use Notability for my classes. Because it's a holiday and because I don't have the bravery to attempt shooting a video during my actual classes, I decided to do a demo for you guys of what really happens during my classes while I'm at home. I could wait until I, I get the courage to do this, but it's probably never gonna come. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're looking for inspiration to go paperless with your studies and if you're already subscribed make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. So every class that I have has a practical part where we go to see patients and we clerk patients, examine them, do the charting and everything. The second part is a discussion where we discuss individual patients, their cases, and we also mostly discuss that day's topic. So every class we have a topic that we have to study and so the discussion is mostly about that particular day's topic. So before going to class in the morning, I export my topic, whatever I've managed to go through, from my margin note 3 to notability as an outline. I don't really like exporting mind maps out of margin note to notability as a PDF because it requires a lot of time and a lot of effort and it's a very manual process that I really need to figure out and it, it just takes a lot to achieve that so I don't do it. So for this video, I will be using my iPad Pro 2015 as my pretend lecture. It's come out of hibernation. I've not been using it for a very long time because it's running public beta iPad OS 13. So it's not really performing at its best at the moment. That's why I've been neglecting it. I will be watching a video from it on treatment of congestive heart failure. I'll be watching a video from Paul Bolin. His lectures are really great. I always manage to learn something from them. And so I will put a link to his channel in the description down below. He's my go-to guy whenever I want to listen to a lecture. On my iPad Pro 2018, I will be using Notability to audio record this lecture while I'm taking notes. Every time I take notes, be it in class, during lectures, I always record the audio because during my discussions or when I'm listening to a lecture and I already have some notes, I get to note what's important and make necessary corrections to my rough notes the audio recording feature is one of the main reasons I've stuck with Notability. I highly recommend this for every student. And the best part is that this doesn't create big files, actually. It's surprising how small the sizes of these audio files are. You won't even notice that they are there. I can't get over the animated ink um, synced to the audio. I actually really enjoy just sitting here, listening to my lecture and watching my notes write themselves. <laughs> A bit childish, but I enjoy it. And I'm not going to lie. I love it. I don't think I'll ever get used to it because I've been using Notability for a very long time now. And I still get excited every single time I see this. Like, what? This is so cool. <laughs> I love it. I use both margin note and notability for my study. They do different things, that's all, but they are both a necessary part of my daily workflow. What other videos would you guys be interested to see on this channel? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.